the IPTV analyzer in the Atlas NG allows us to test multicast IPTV streams and analyze and decode the services within, as long as the IP stream carries an MPTS, SPTS or T2MI. First of all, we will see how to configure this tool. We need to access to Home, Settings, Network. Here we can define the IPTV port MAC address, IP address, subnet mask, related gateway and whether we want to activate DHCP protocol. In case the IP address assignment is being handled by a DHCP server in the network where we are connecting the instrument, we must set the DHCP option to ON. In the second IPTV settings menu, by activating the field discovery, the meter will discover automatically all the multicast streams available in the network. Finally, the third IPTV settings menu is used to activate IGMP protocol in the meter, in case that is being used in the IPTV network we are connected to. Now we can head to the IPTV tool from the home menu. When we drag the left menu, we can see all the multicast addresses that have been automatically discovered by the Atlas NG. The meter will automatically identify as well whether the protocol used is RTP or UDP. From that list, we must choose the stream we want to analyze. We can see the stream's IP address, port number and bit rate, and the source IP address. In the lower part of the menu, we select whether the signal after IPD encapsulation is TS or T2MI. In the horizontal bar at the lowest part of the screen, we can see the stream's address, whether the meter detects that the Ethernet cable is connected, and the resistor stream bitrate. This bar will turn green once the meter is locked to the transport stream or the T2MI signal encapsulated within the received multicast stream. While in the IPTV tool, you can find the following analysis tools, which can be mixed in the three available panels in several ways. Measurements. Here we can find several IP multicast traffic metrics, such as the receiving packet rate, number of packets received, number of missing, duplicated and out-of-order packets under RTP transmission, the delay factor, which indicates the maximum amount of time a packet waits in the buffer before being released, and the media loss rate, the higher this number, the worse the overall B-Wing experience, and it can only be displayed in RTP traffic. Jitter, maximum inter-arrival packet time, forward error correction measurements like the number of packets fixed by the FEC algorithm, and number of transport stream packets per IP packet. Besides that, we find some metrics related to the whole network traffic, such as the total network bitrate, packet error rate, number of packets with errors, and total number of network packets. The measurement selected will be displayed in the graphs shown on the top of the screen. Video Here we can check the decoded picture for the multicast service selected. If the multicast address we have chosen is carrying a full MPTS with several services, we can choose any of them for its display on a screen. Video audio parameters. We use this tool to inspect all the diverse metadata concerning the service and its video and audio layers, as well as to check which other additional services may be linked to it, such as teletext, applications, hybrid TV, etc. Audio levels. This tool displays a loudness meter for the left and right channels linked to the audio layer from the multicast service selected. IPTV packet rate shows the IP packet percentage as a function of time between packets. 
Its purpose is to check for reception packet continuity for the selected stream. Usually, the graph should concentrate around the small time values. Spreading through the time axis may point to a network problem. Packet rate over time. This graph shows the number of IP packets being received from the current multicast stream over time. By pressing on the COG button, we access this tool's settings menu, where we can change the graph resolution. Ping request. The meter can send pings to other devices in the network. You can set up the number of pings to be sent and to which IP address this will be sent to. Traceroute packets can be sent to. Transfer Stream Analyzer You can use the meter's Transport Stream Analyzer to fully test the embedded transport stream, including PSI-SI table inspection, bitrate analysis, and transport stream alarm monitoring.